All right, guys, behind me, 1956 Ford pickup truck, fully customized. Um, it's been stanced, dropped, it's got a custom interior and a custom engine and transmission, so on and so forth. You guys got to check this one out. This one's pretty cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to give you the tour, of course, in the showroom, do our normal thing in here. We're going to start it up out back, hopefully take it for a drive if weather permits, um, get you a good feel of what it kind of feels like when you're driving it. Um, throw it up on the hoist in the back there and get you all like the real nitty gritty, you know, dirt part of the uh, engine transmission rear end, the whole, the whole nine yards. So you really know what you're buying when you go to buy one of these things. Um, this one's really, really nice. I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Uh, let's fire it up. All right, guys, the front of this thing, this is pretty much the iconic Ford pickup, or I should say one of the iconic Ford pickup trucks, just because the front end on these looks so good. You notice these things from a mile away. Um, it's just beautiful. Uh, you can see that the, uh, the grill, of course, has been re-chromed. It does have uh, custom lights in it. You can see that, if I'm not mistaken, the, uh, the lower lenses, I don't know if they were supposed to be clear or if they were supposed to be the uh, orange tint, but uh, they, look, they look new regardless of if those were original type or not. Looking up in there, it looks like I see a uh, transmission cooler, if I'm not mistaken, up in there. Uh, bumper looks like it's been re-chromed, if not brand new, entirely. Uh, and, you know, the paint job looks good all the way up in there. There's no overspray or some lack of paint way up in there. So uh, that implies a good fit and finish for the truck, and that's uh, what this thing really deserves. You can see across the top of the hood here, and you can look at the paint and the soft lighting in here, and you can see all the reflections of every poster and picture, so on and so forth, all through the shop here. Um, as far as, I think that's my phone going off. Uh, you can see we've got uh, the fenders on the truck, beautiful, doors beautiful, and this is actually a pretty good, uh, as far as your door gap goes, that's pretty good for these things. In 1956, they didn't really care that much about door gaps, you know what I mean? And the, just the machining tolerances, the manufacturing tolerances weren't quite what they were today. This is pretty good for a stock door, uh, I gotta say that for sure. Um, you're looking at like the, uh, the steps on the truck here, or the uh, the running boards, of course, you know that's all that's maintained a pretty decent paint job. Obviously, doesn't look like people have been you know stepped on it with big old greasy boots or something like that. Very nice. It does have side pipes on the car as well, or on the truck, I should say. Disc brakes in the rear, disc brakes in the front. You do have the stance kind of look in it. You can see we've got uh, BF Goodrich tires on it. You know, big old fat meats in the back, uh, and like I said, it's got a little bit smaller in the front there to give you that rake. Um, as far as the paint back here, absolutely gorgeous, and this is one of the real reasons to own one of these older trucks is this. This is, this is just the nines to me, is these wood beds and these things, especially when they're done really pretty like this, you just can't beat it. Um, of course, I like, you can see where the, uh, the sides of the, uh, I guess we want to call it, the wheel wells are bolted all on from the, uh, from the outside here, from the inside, whatever you want to call it, bolted to the side of the bed box. They've got all the, uh, the buttons for like the, the tops of the bolts, all that's chromed, done really nice. You can see here it, uh, it's got like, a, I, I think it's referred to as a roll pan, which is, uh, you know, no, it's essentially a rear bumper delete. And of course, you've got your uh, taillights all kind of Frenched in there where you really can't see them. License plate uh, recess as well. Moving to this side here, you got your fuel cap here for your gas cap or fuel fuel fill for your uh, gas tank back there. Of course, they moved it from inside the truck because, I mean, that's, that's a little bit dangerous, but you know, hey, who am I to, who am I to judge? Uh, you can see here, this side of the truck, it's every bit as good as the driver's side. Beautiful truck, I like the billet wheels on it, disc brakes up front, like I had mentioned. It's a nice truck, guys. Let's check out the interior. Okay, guys, as far as the interior on this thing goes, uh, it's custom, just like the rest of the truck. Um, pretty tastefully done, and it's not a super loud color, kind of like a taupe type color, which uh, I, I, I like. Um, as you can see here, you can see that the door panel is completely custom for the truck. You can see that uh, you've got uh, all the custom upholstery. I believe that to be uh, a stock type handle, however. You can see that all of the weather stripping on it is brand new on this thing. The paint looks like it's in pretty good shape, I mean, even in the door jams, so on and so forth. Um, you can see the carpet in the truck is obviously brand new. This thing probably never came with carpet. It more than likely was just a rubber mat. Uh, so you've got that upgrade. They put a center console in the truck, and in that center console, you have speakers mounted for your radio, a radio obviously to run the speakers. You have uh, AC in it. It is an automatic truck, and you've got the low car shifter right there. 
They do have just a little spoon gas pedal in it with a stock style brake, but I'm sure it's got an upgraded braking system. Obviously, it has disc brakes. Um, outside of that, here's all your vents and stuff like that for your AC and heat. Um, <clears throat> you've got your uh, parking brake over here, and that right there is going to be uh, an upgrade from the Yank style under dash type parking brake. Uh, looking up under there, I can see some sound deadening to keep this thing uh, as quiet as possible rolling down the road. Custom gauges in it. Uh, looks like an I did it tilt column in the car, and you do have a, I keep saying car, I mean to say truck. Um, you do have a billet steering wheel in the thing with the uh, carbon fiber inlay that goes uh, around where you grip it. Uh, headliner in the truck is in really cool shape. You can see that it's, uh, well, I guess really cool uh, because it's custom. You can see that it matches the rest of the interior, even down to the head visor or the uh, sun visors in it. Uh, radio antenna up there in the center. You can see uh, the seats, of course, match everything else. This interior was completely custom done for this truck. And uh, power seats, whole nine yards, it does everything you want it to do. And if I move it forward, something else to show off, this, to kind of so you get an idea of the fit and finish of the truck. If you can look back there, you can see actually that it has a, a custom like a, a panel back here that would, you know, there used to be a gas tank sitting back here. And as you can see, they put this panel in back here just to kind of give you a little bit something else to look at so you didn't just look at the, uh, the bed panel of the truck. And all this stuff is going to help quiet the truck down too. Um, the more paneling you put in there, generally, the, you know, the more it uh, helps with road noise. So uh, I guess that's about it. We're going to go and take it uh, out back here and we're going to see if we can fire the thing up and get you a good idea of what it's going to run like. Let's take his 56 Ford pickup truck for a ride. What a sweet little ride. Ford power in a Ford truck. That's exactly what everybody's looking for today, I tell you what. And what a sweet driver, I tell you. She's driving down the road nice, got great acceleration. Steering feels good. Just an amazing ride here. I love the tilt front end on it. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're shipping experts. We can ship this truck anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom would love to tell you all about this beautiful truck and just how easy it is to park this dream in your drive. Looks like I got a guy up here hunting for some place to uh, drop off a load. <laughs> uh, there he goes. Get around it. Listen to that exhaust. Man, it's got, um, it sounds so tough. Very, very cool here. I mean, down here on the dash, the uh, horn's working. The gauges are all working here on the dash. Looks like we got water temp, voltage, speedo, oil pressure, fuel gauge. We got our console here with our AC controls, our aftermarket radio. Now don't forget, we're right outside the Motor City. We're only 20 minutes from the airport. If you want to come out and visit, which we would love to have you come out and visit because we sell about 90% of our cars sight unseen. So we don't get to see guys. So come on out and visit. We'd love to show you this beautiful truck or one of the other 205 cars we have in stock right now. Also, if you'd like to send out an inspector, no problem. Just give us a call, let us know he's coming. And if you see something on the vehicles, like, man, that'd be my perfect truck. If only it had, talk to Tom about it. We might be able to do it for you. We've got full-time mechanics on staff. We can do just about anything to a hot rod that needs to be done. So if you see one little thing on here you need it, need done, talk to Tom. We may just be able to do it for you. Well, we're coming up on our shop right here. We're at 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. Now don't forget to stick with us because we're going to put this one up on the lift so we can check out how nice the bottom side is. We're going to tilt that hood forward and take a look at the Ford Power under the hood. Alright guys, this is the underside of our 56 pickup truck here. Um, this thing has got, uh, obviously it's got a, uh, a fuel cell underneath it of course and it's been relocated from what the stock location would have been which is inside the truck. Um, this is a common thing to do so people actually relocate them back here for safety reasons. Um, of course, you got the new fill tube and all that sort of stuff all right here when they went and did it. You can see the underside of the wood bed is in really nice shape. You can see here they notched the frame uh, because of the stance of the truck. So they notched the frame so that uh, you didn't have any issues with the uh, clearance here. There's a bump stop here to keep 
that brake line's safe. Um, moving forward to that, uh, the brake lines on this thing are actually bent very, very well. It's something that I always like to point out when I see nice plumbing, as you can see all these nice right angle bends and stuff like that. They obviously used a bender on it. They did a good job. Um, in front of the brake lines here, at least from my perspective, in front of the brake lines, you have a set of really nice coilover adjustable ACO uh, racing shocks on it. Um, so you can adjust ride height, um, spring, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it, spring rate, and you can also adjust the dampening on these. The nicer ones, you're allowed to actually adjust dampening as well. Um, this is a four-link uh, rear end here that they have modified this Ford nine inch to fit, so it's a, you know, linked in properly. Four-link, you got a pan hard bar up here. Um, I already said that it's a, uh, a Ford nine inch. On either side of it, you got disc brakes. It has had a disc brake conversion. All the whip hoses look like they're in excellent shape. You do have a parking brake that's hooked up to this. Um, the center section on this Ford nine inch is a nodular case. That's a big. That's a big thing for uh, traction guy or for excuse me, performance guys. Um, it does have track lock and it does uh, have a 3.25 to 1 uh, gear ratio in it. Over here you got a brake proportioning valve. I mean, the underside of the bed is continuing to look really nice. You've got just some aftermarket mufflers on this thing. Exhaust on this is brand new, by the way. You can see you got uh, the side exit here, and then forward to the side exit, you actually have dumps on this. And this all right here, of course, you can look at all that brand new piping, and you can see here we've got these really nice, uh, if not mistaken, this is stainless, and look at the welds on this thing. This is like TIG welding art right here. That's absolutely beautiful. Um, so these are some pretty nice pieces that they added in, and these are all electric cutouts. You can hit a button inside the truck, and then all of a sudden you can let that 428 just give you that uh, good hollow sound that they, these things are kind of notorious for. Uh, master cylinders right here. Um, once again, all the brake lines are very professionally bent. I mean, as you can see it, they're beautiful and of course they have the uh, the proper um, I guess what would you call this residual pressure valves for your disc brakes that's always a good thing that people actually thought about that when they engineered the braking system moving forward to that the frame of course is beautiful you know they've uh, they painted it same body color as the truck starter solenoid right here uh, I'm not mistaken over top of that right there I think is a voltage regulator if I'm not mistaken We've got a C6 automatic transmission, that's a three-speed automatic with no overdrive. However, you do have the 3.25 to 1 rear end ratio. With a relatively large rear tire, um, I wouldn't worry about drivability with this. I think the 321 or 325 with the big tires in the back, you should be able to drive this thing just fine at uh, modern speeds without uh, really any issues. Rack and pinion steering in the front, it is power. Um, it, it, the truck actually has a fresh oil change on it, I can see that. Um, we do have, uh, of course, the matching AFCO racing shocks up front here, uh, adjustable spring rates, adjustable, adjustable dampening. Um, the front suspension on this thing looks like it's a Mustang II type suspension, of course. Tubular lower control arms, tubular upper control arms, and uh, all the new parts that that comes with, which would, you know what I mean, ball joints, both upper and lower, tie rod ends. Of course, the rack looks like it's brand new. Uh, motor mounts look brand new on the thing. Um, so on and so forth. It's it's actually a really really nice build, and you can see, of course, you got disc brakes in front as well. Um, just so I didn't say it so far, see so what year is the transmission? I don't know what year the transmission is. I believe it's probably if I can look at the number here on the side, C8, which would be 1968 uh, transmission case, which is uh, getting kind of close to the period of the truck, just a little bit uh, a little bit newer. So I get to, at this point. Oh, I forgot to mention, we do have a aftermarket trans cooler here as well. Um, now, at this point, we will go to wheels and tires, and then I can show you the 428 under the hood. All right, guys, for wheels and tires, we've got these Scott five-spoke wheels, um, very similar to like a torque thrust tile uh, wheel. Um, BF Goodrich tires on it, however, they are not radial TAs, they are G-Force TAs, which is uh, a little bit more of like a performance-type tire, and uh, the size here actually tells me that, 255-40Z R17, the Z stands for speed rating. And uh, with all the modifications this truck has, it, uh, it very well might need these tires. Let's go check out the rear. Okay, guys, back here we got uh, BF Goodrich uh, G-Force TAs uh, as well. We have 285 R18s in the back, so quite a bit bigger. Directional tire, it is a sport tire, and we've still got the, uh, the torque thrust style wheels. And we've got, of course, you know, stick weighted, which is also very common for you know, nice rims. And we have uh, disc brakes in the rear, like I'd mentioned. Um, outside of that, I guess we're going to get uh, underneath the hood. Okay, guys, underneath the hood of this truck, uh, firstly, you can see uh, the hood obviously opens uh, backwards of what they normally do. Uh, they've got like this custom setup here, and this is a rather common modification for these trucks. And it, it, it's simple just because it looks cool. It's the equivalent of Lambo doors on a pickup truck, I suppose. Um, outside of that, 
The uh, the jewel that's inside the in between the fender wells here is a Ford FE. I always like the uh, idiom that the uh, fear starts with FE, which is I always think that's kind of funny. But uh, 428 uh, cubic inch, which is a rather you know uh, large cubic inch for these things. I don't think they came any bigger than that. Um, you have a 4160 model carburetor on top, vacuum secondary, straight boosters. You have a dual feed electric choke. Um, <clears throat> Distributor that's in front of that. That distributor has a Petronix unit in it. There is no points there, so you don't got to worry about uh, adjusting and playing with points. You got a V belt style setup uh, pulley system on the car. Um, you have a uh, compressor for AC. Um, alternators tucked away down here. All the pulleys look like it's a relatively new installation. All the bolts don't have any rust on it or anything like that, which implies that uh, this has all just been put together recently, just like the rest of the truck, so it's really no big surprise. Um, I really do like the valve covers on this engine as we start moving, as I'm starting to turn my attention back over here. We got a flamethrower coil that, uh, that is the recommended coil to run with this uh, Petronix unit over here. You can see uh, we got a low car type dipstick over here, you know what I mean, and a lot of like the, we got low car uh, um, throttle cable over here. I'm having trouble talking here. We also have, uh, looks like the kick down linkage is also a low car setup. Outside of that, you just can see that all the hoses, of course, are, you know, in really nice shape. Of course, the truck was built just of recently, so once again, it's of no surprise, but all the hoses are in really good shape. You can also see that we do have a mechanical fan on this truck, and thank the gods that they actually put a shroud on this. Uh, I, you see it all the time where people won't put shrouds on these trucks, and uh, or cars, whatever it may be, and then they run into overheating issues, possibly. This uh, is crucial for, you know, proper uh, draw through this radiator, so I'm glad to see that they actually took the time to properly fit a, uh, a, shrouds on, or a shroud on this. Um, outside of that, fender wells look really good, paint on the firewall looks good, underside of the hood looks great, and of course all this stuff, it's all a new installation and they did a pretty good, pretty good job doing it. Um, I suppose that's about it guys. If you'd like this street truck parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dreams in your driveway.